What is lock style fly fishing? Well, put simply, it's fishing from a drifting boat while casting in front of it. Sounds simple. So today here at Rutland Water, we're going to look at it in a little more detail. So without further ado, let's get into it. fishing can be one of the most efficient ways of finding fish on large still water. In this video I'm going to explain how to set the boat up for a day on the drift. We will also be looking at identifying likely drifts. Ensure your engine is working. Start it up before unhooking the boat from the dock. Check the kill cord is attached to the engine. Make sure that you have a full tank of fuel. Not essential, but will certainly make for a much more pleasant day as a good drove. This will slow the drift down and make it easy to fish at a slower pace. Let's start with the boat seats. If you're thinking about going afloat for the day, I would really recommend investing in one. Landing net. Ensure you have a decent long handled net. It will make landing fish, if you are lucky enough to catch one, that much easier. If you intend to employ catch and release, a good rubberized knotless net will really help with the fish's welfare. Tackle bag or box, well, it really is your choice in the amount of lock style fishing you intend to do. If you intend to get into competition fishing, I would recommend that you go for the box, preferably a completely waterproof box. That's the essential kit, but a couple of tips before you set off into the sunset. Always ensure you have the lodge's telephone number, just in case the worst should happen. Last, but certainly not least, is a bailing bucket. some value from the videos guys please remember to hit that subscribe button like the video click the bell and you'll get future notifications of any videos I release setting up for a drift what to look for so now you've got a float and it's time to go and select that drift there's a lot of things you're going to think about because it all depends on where the fish are often you'll be on an open water drift sometimes you'll be looking for the drop-offs the hang there might be some undergrowth there might be a a fence in the water, there may be a point or a ridge coming coming down from a piece of landscape. Anything that you think is going to hold fish, what you're trying to do is to line yourself up with the best opportunity of drifting onto those fish. So you'll either try to drift onto a bank, drift across open water, or, or drift onto that feature. What I'd suggest you also look to try and do is to keep yourself away from other boats or other bank anglers. So if you see a bank angler who's wading, he may be disturbing the water that you're trying to get into where you think there's a bit of a hot spot. If you think there's boats in front of you, you need to really try and get yourself in between the boats or away from the boats and give yourself clear water. The amount of times in the large competitions where we've gone 50 metres left or right, 
of all of the boats and just been the only boat in clear water just to find that the fish have just been pushed over by the other boat to, to make it that little bit more successful. The other thing that you might look for if you're looking at a large expanse of water like this at the, in the middle of the back end of the year is wind lanes. The okay, wind lanes will come up and in, in, in and when they form or across the reservoir they'll hold a multitude uh, of, of items that the fish will want to feed on. Well I hope this video has been of some use. If you're one of these people that like to go out and anchor up, there's nothing wrong with that, but you are creating much more opportunity by fishing from a drifting boat. You're covering more water and it's going to give you more chances at catching fish. Remember, regardless, lock style or anchor, always stay safe, make sure you've got a life jacket on and most of all, enjoy your fishing. I'll see you all next time.